the near future, uh, when information processing is literally embedded in the physical fabric of the city, um, our actions, transactions, interactions on a daily basis increasingly become monitored and managed by these information systems. So the Sentient City Survival Kit looks at the kind of darker side of the smart city and asks us to rethink what's important in the future for urban technologies. Um, the project specifically asks questions about the implications for conditions of privacy, autonomy, trust, and serendipity in this near future urban environment. Yeah, so the survival kit contains four items. Uh, the first is Serendipiter, and it's an alternate navigation application for the iPhone, which helps you find something by looking for something else. For the Serendipiter, the idea is that in the near future, finding your way from point A to point B will not be the problem, but somehow maintaining consciousness of what happens along the way between these two points might become more difficult. So the Serendipiter is an app which helps introduce minor interruptions, small slippages, detours within an otherwise optimized and efficient route. When you hit next, you'll then get another instruction. This one is saying of Oslo Strasse nach Norden Richtung Benediktstrasse and then ask someone for directions to a payphone. Call a friend and ask where to go next. Um, so these different instructions, in this case it's then telling you to look for someone who seems lonely and ask to walk with them for a while. So these different instructions really are in sort of small suggestions to um, you know, try to engage with the city in maybe a way that people um, might not necessarily imagine doing in their normal lives. And these small instructions are really designed to in a way, introduce or suggest or provoke some type of tension or friction with, on the one hand, the city, and on the other hand, the technologies that are increasingly becoming part of the way we move through these cities. So the destination is really, in the end, not so important, but you know, what happens along the way becomes the stuff of what matters. The next item in the kit is RFID under aware, and in the near future, item level tagging and discrete data sniffing will become both common corporate culture, but also a popular criminal pastime. So this popular product line of underwear is outfitted with RFID antennas, which sense hidden RFID readers and alert the wearer to their presence by activating small vibrating motors um, sewn into strategic locations of the garments. There's also the ad hoc dark network travel mug, and this is a common commuter coffee mug that has embedded within it a mobile phone screen and a ad hoc wireless networking radio. Um, people using the mug tap out messages on the side of the mug and to broadcast those messages to other people on the train using the mug, just make a small drinking gesture. The ad hoc network travel mug enables you to develop an, an informal off-grid network for communication along a morning's commute. The final item in the Silent Survival Kit is the CCD Me Not umbrella. And this is an umbrella which is studded with infrared LEDs, visible only to surveillance cameras. Um, the umbrella is designed to enable people walking through heavily surveilled areas, particularly at night, to flirt, so to speak, with the algorithms running on these advanced surveillance systems. The project really is not about proposing um, uh, sort of real-life prototypes which will be then produced and uh, have an instrumental value. The value here is more in terms of the discourse. Irony is a wonderful way to introduce ideas and raise um, the kind of critical debate surrounding them. So I'm less invest invested in uh, developing um, projects which predict the future, but more concrete artifacts in the present around which we might organize a debate about just what kind of future we might want. <laughs>